let's say you see this kind of a question in your chemistry jam exam how will you solve it the question says what is the number of particles that can be found in 12 grams of oxygen gas when the atomic mass of oxygen is equal to 16 grams per mole if you check this particular question very well this is a more concept question so which formula will you use to solve this kind of a question you will use this particular formula that states mass or reacting max you can write it anyway it is still the same mass mass or reacting mass over molar mass is equal to number of particles number of particles over avogadro's constant avogadro's constant i believe you all know the avogadro's constant so now in the question if you check very well we are asked and they said oxygen gas oxygen gas we all know that oxygen gas is the atomic type of oxygen atom so this is oxygen gas so now we are giving the molar mass or we are giving the atomic mass of oxygen oxygen atom to be 16 grams per mole so the molecular mass of oxygen gas is going to be 16 times 2 which is going to be 32 grams per mole so that's what we are going to be used as our molar mass in this particular question so let's continue so what is the mass the mass is 12 grams so we are going to be putting this in what we are going to be solving so the mass is 12 grams so 12 over what is the molar mass that's what we got here 32 32 grams per mole is equal to number of molecules or number of particles that is what we are looking for so that was represented with x all over what is avogadro's constant avogadro's constant is 6.02 times 10 raised power 23 so that is avogadro's constant so now 12 divided by 32 you can punch your calculator that should give you 0 0.375 is equal to x all over 6.02 times 10 raised power 23 what do we do here we cross multiply you cross multiply so when you cross multiply it's going to be like this so x is going to be multiplied by one while you are going to have 0 0.35375 times 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 so you are going to have x on one side to be equal to 0 0.375 which is this times this 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 so you can punch your calculator so punching calculator i think that should give you 2.26 times 10 raised power 23 yes so 2.26 times 10 raised to the power 23 particles so that is the number of particles so if you see this particular question in your jam exam do not be afraid do not fret solve it this way and you will get your answer correctly do well to follow us for more content like this. See you in the next one.